Question 3. We're given that ABCD and EF, sorry, AEFG are identical squares. We're told that CD is equal to EF, which is equal to 10 centimeters. We're also told that angle BAG, so this angle here, is 45 degrees. Now we need to prove that triangles A, G, D, so this triangle here, this isosceles triangle, what it looks like here, um, and A, B, E are congruent to one another. So when we use the word congruent, we're saying they are um, exactly the same as each other, the same size, and they contain the same angles as well. Um, we can also have congruent lines and congruent lines will just be lines that are the same size or we can just have congruent angles um, which means that the angles are the same as each other yeah with a congruent shape we would say that both the sides and the angles within the shape are the same as each other exactly the same as each other so we're trying to prove that the two triangles are identical exactly the same congruent to one another Okay, so there's a very particular way um, that we go about doing what we call a geometrical proof um, of this type. So we need to be specific um, about giving reasons as to why we make any statements within this proof. So our first um, statement um, that I want to make is I want to look at the length AD and the length AE. Now, I know that the length AD and the length AE are going to be congruent to one another, the same as each other, because this is the 10 by 10 square and this is the 10 by 10 square, or the squares are identical to each other. So I can make this statement now. I can say, well, I know that A, A, D, is congruent to, and we have a special sign for this, congruent to a E, and we're going to say because, and shorthand of writing because is like that, so because they are identical squares. So I've made a statement and I've justified that statement. Okay, so that has to be true because they're identical squares. I can now mark on here that AD, this length is the same as this length here. Okay, and I've justified that. Okay, I now um, want to, well, I know that the length AG yeah, so another length in this triangle here, AG, is going to be the same as the length AB over here, which is in this triangle. So I'm going to say that AG A, is congruent to AB. Um, and the same reason as before because they are identical squares okay and that's information that's given to us they are identical squares okay so I can mark that on so we're saying that AG and I'll put two dashes to, to show that that length is the same as this length here so I'll put two dashes here so I know that those two are the same as each other okay so um, I'm now going to have a look at the angle in between, so DAG, and now the angle DAG has been made up of this um, right angle here, which I need to justify as a right angle, so I'll start by saying DAB is going to be the same as EAG, so we're just saying about, we're just talking about these two right angles here, we know they're right angles because it's a square, but we need to say that we know that they're right angles because it's a square. So we're going to say that DAB, 
um, is going to be identical um, so congruent to sorry um, EAG okay DAB is congruent to EAG um, because um, they are squares so angles 90 degrees okay so I've justified now that this here and this here are both going to be right angles okay now I'm going to say that angle DAG is congruent to EAB congruent to EAB and that's because well 90 plus 45 is equal to 90 plus 45 so I've just done 90 plus 45 degrees is equal to 135 degrees yeah so they're both going to be 90 plus 45 degrees or 135 degrees okay so I now know that DA is equal to EA I now know that um, AG is equal to AB they're congruent to one another and I know that this angle DAG is congruent to EAB so we've got a side an angle in between and another side of this triangle which is the same as the side the angle in between and another side of this triangle and then we've got because we know the side angle side is the same in both the triangles that means that the triangles must be congruent to one another so my final thing to say is that the triangle D a G is congruent to the triangle E A B because of our side angle side rule. If there's only tri two triangles where we have a side, an angle in between, and another side that are equal to one another, then that means that those two triangles must be congruent to one another. Um, and there's our proof. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.